God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Well now, while Asterix, Obelix, and Chief Bombastix encouraged the wizard in his explosive search for their desperately needed vitamin formula, deep in the woods, a weary traveler took stock of his own situation. The mysterious Prolix was in a bit of a jam. He seemed to have more up his sleeve than he did in the bag. And he had predicted such fine business from the gullible Gauls. But he hadn't predicted Asterix, who was not gullible, and who had ruined all his greedy plans. Now, instead of delicious Gaulish goodies, he had only stale bread and a long walk to the next village. Mr. Fortune Teller! Mr. Fortune Teller! But perhaps his luck <laughs> was about to change. <laughs> Prolix? <laughs> oh, oh, wait for me, Prolix! Ah! You hear those explosions? It is bad luck not to respect the fortune teller. No, don't go. I respect you. What do you see in the future for me? Please. There are two in your village who do not respect me. The little man with the large yellow mustache and that fat bully who would not let me read his little dog. Ah! Ooh! Oh, they're barbarians. Don't let them bother you. If you had them thrown out, then I could stay. What do you say? Hmm. Oh, oh la la, but they protect our village. We need them. Oh, my back. Then again, with a little help, I suppose I could settle in this clearing. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And I'll make sure Asterix and Obelix never come out here. And I can bring you everything you need to No, eat no, no, drink. no, no. We fortune tellers lead a lonely life of quiet meditation. Well, just bring me a few things to read. Wild boar, chicken, turkey, french fries, and beer. Even in beer, you can read the future? If it's not the first draft. I will bring you everything you ask for, but tell me what does the future hold for me? Oh, I read in the flight of this little birdie um, that you will not need to spend the rest of your life in this rotten little village. Uh, but my husband is chief. Well, he will be called to a more important destiny. Oh, my. Perhaps my rich brother will make us partners with him in Paris. Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> I was just going to say that. Now, leave me while I meditate. <laughs> mm. la, la, la. Mm. 